Hey, I'm Mike with Fleetwood RV. We're here today to discuss the brand new 2021 Bounder 35K. First thing you're going to notice on this is how stylish the front cap is. That's a one piece molded fiberglass front cap. It features this oversized windshield, which is going to give you a panoramic view of the road ahead. Speaking of the road ahead, that's going to be illuminated by these high performance headlights that are beautifully accented by the LEDs, giving it that high end look that this motorhome deserves. All right, let's talk about what this unit's built on. First of all, we got the 22 and a half inch aluminum Alcoa wheels. The Bounder 35K is built on a 22,000 pound chassis. That chassis is powered by a V8 this year, which is producing 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. That's a 30 horsepower increase over last year. Another thing you're gonna notice is the chrome mirrors this year. Now the mirrors are heated and electric. Another feature is our cameras are integrated into our mirrors. What that does is it gives you a nice overhead view of what's beside you, as well as it keeps the cameras up out of the splash zone. Typically when the cameras are located below the belt line, they get loaded up with road grime and obstructs the view of what you got beside you. Another badge you're gonna see up here is Diamond Shield. Essentially, Diamond Shield is a transparent protective film that protects the paint. So we put that in all the key areas such as the whole front of the unit. We put it on the back side of our fender wells, as well as around our door handle, underneath our grab bar, and as a kick plate. So that protects all them areas that are subject to scratches. As we step back, one thing you're gonna notice is the standard dual pane frameless windows. That's gonna offer more insulation value as well as sound deadening, and it gives the whole side of the unit a real clean look. Moving up to the exterior entertainment system. This year we really enhanced the audio by incorporating this sound bar. It makes it nice for them days when you're watching them sporting events or just sitting around the campsite listening to music. In our first luggage compartment, we have a 2000 watt pure sign inverter. We have our inverter disconnect and a BCC box with some fuses in it as well as some storage. Here at Fleetwood we understand how important storage is in a motorhome. So we utilize any spot available to provide that storage for you. The next two luggage compartments we're gonna look at together. One thing you're gonna notice is our struts are all up out of the way, as well as our latches. That gives you a good unobstructed entrance into your luggage compartments, so things ain't getting hung up as you put them in and out. Let's take a look inside. First thing you're gonna notice is all of the pass-through storage down here. Now all this storage is climate controlled as you can tell by all the vents that we have down here. Another thing you're going to notice is there's no carpet at all in our luggage compartments. We choose to use a rotocast material which is a high grade military composite. It's very easy to clean out. You can just spray it out. You can hose it out. Carpet tends to collect mildew, stains, and odors. One other thing I want to point out while we're down here is all of our floors are metallic lined. That's going to offer optimal moisture protection as well as eliminating the worry about materials like Darko ripping and exposing raw wood. As we move down the unit, we have a 10 gallon quick recovery water heater. In this luggage compartment, we have our 25 gallon house propane tank. And here we have more pass-through storage as well as access to our hydraulic fill for our automatic hydraulic leveling system. In the last compartment, again, more pass-through storage. Now on the rear of the unit, you're gonna notice the one-piece fiberglass rear cap. It does feature a rear backup camera with one-way audio. That way your spotter can communicate with you. We do have a 5,000 pound hitch on the bounder. But one important feature I like to point out is how we do our fuel fills. We put them on the rear of our unit, so that way you don't have to worry about when you get to a gas station, getting to a certain pump. You can pull up to any pump and the hoses will reach from both sides. Now down the other side, first luggage bay here features our surge protection, which protects you against any dirty power coming off the post, as well as a power cord reel for your 50 amp service. The next luggage compartment features the 5.5K Onan generator. Right here we have our utility bay, which has access to all of your knife valves, your low point drains, as well as an exterior shower. 
and your whole house filter, which is recommended to be changed every 8,000 gallons. Moving forward, we have more storage in here. Both of these next two bays are going to be a continuation of the other side. All pass through storage. This compartment has our 100 gallon fresh water tank in it. Now this bay is heated, so that's going to help protect you against any freezing. And then again, we have more storage. And that's a quick walk around of the exterior of the 2021 Bounder 35K. Let's take a look at the inside. Now that we're inside, let's talk about some of the interior features. One thing I want to point out real quick is another benefit of going to the V8 engine is that it's a smaller footprint. That allowed us to lower the engine cover this year making egress into the driver's seat that much easier. One thing you'll notice when we get up here to the new dash is that it has a nice digital display as well as a smart wheel. So you can toggle through the digital display and it's gonna display a few features this year that we didn't have last year, such as miles till empty, average miles per gallon, and your exterior temperature. Now moving left to right around the cockpit, you're gonna have your automatic controls for our automatic leveling system as well as dual displays. Now the display on the left is gonna be strictly for your cameras. It's gonna to default to your rear backup camera and then by applying the turn signal either left or right, it's gonna display that camera that's integrated into the mirrors outside. The display on our right is gonna be our radio as well as that it is ready for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now if you wanna hook your smartphone up to your stereo, you need to use the USB port located down by your right knee. We do have two more USB ports in our center console, as well as some hidden storage. And moving over to the passenger side, we have 12 volt hookups, as well as a nice sturdy laptop tray or just a snack tray. And now the driver's seat and the passenger passenger seat does spin around that gives two additional seatings to the living area of your unit one other feature I want to talk about is our drop-down bed now the key does need to be out of the ignition for this but this is an option it is 500 pounds as well as probably the most comfortable drop-down bed in the industry and that's due to the thickness of our frame we were able to incorporate teak slats in it that act as leaf springs or box springs. So you're not just getting a mattress on a thin piece of wood, you're actually getting a mattress on box springs. So that's very similar to what you'd have at your home. Another thing up front here is you're gonna notice all the storage up here that's accessible from the top bunk, as well as you have your own dedicated TV. We have our Wi-Fi Ranger that's behind these cabinets as well, and that does come standard in the Bounder. Before we move on to the kitchen, I'd like to point out the Illumiplex system. Now that's conveniently located right inside the door, and it's giving you access to a lot of your controls, such as your lights, your auto gen start, your comfort control settings, your slide out boxes, or just checking the levels of your tanks. Now keep in mind, all of that can Bluetooth to your phone, so you got access to all them controls within Bluetooth range. Another thing in the kitchen you're going to notice is the solid surface countertops, as well as the 13 by 60 picture box window. Now that's a great feature because it allows a lot of light into the unit in an area that's otherwise dark. As well as if you're in here preparing a meal, you're not disconnected from what's going on outside. Another thing you're going to notice is the solid hardwood raised panel doors, as well as all of our cabinetry is lined in ozite. Now the benefit of that is it's really going to knock down a lot of that chatter when you're, from your dishes when you're driving down the road, as well as all of our shelving is adjustable and they all have lips on them. So when you make that last second turn, you don't have to worry about your dishes sliding off. Moving back, all bounders come standard with a convection microwave, and we do have a three, burning, three burner range and oven, and a large residential refrigerator. Coming over to the dinette. Now this is a jackknifing dinette, the big benefit of a jackknifing dinette is we still have ample storage underneath. As well, this is a very functional sleeping area. It goes down very quickly. You just pull the levers out, push down. 
And this goes out into actually over six foot, two inches. So this can not only accommodate kids, but it can accommodate most adults. Moving back to the living area. First thing that's gonna catch your eye is this beautiful accent wall. Up top we have more storage. Underneath that we have our flat screen LED TV with sound bar. Now this TV is on a swivel. It's perfect for in the mornings when you're having breakfast, catching up on the news, or in the evenings when you're just relaxing and watching a movie. Directly under that, we have our fireplace. Not only is that aesthetically pleasing, but it does produce 5,300 BTUs of heat. So if you pair that with your rear heat pump, it gives enough heat to take the chill off them cooler nights. Coming across here, this has the L sofa. We could opt in for theater seating, but the L sofa does jackknife out for additional sleeping, as well as pulls out for additional seating. One thing before we move farther back, we need to take a look around at all of the overhead storage we have throughout our living area. Now keep in mind as well, all of our cabinets are screwed in to uh, sheet steel and it gives it a very, very solid surface to screw into. That way, that way you don't have to worry about your cabinets coming off the wall. And I hope that helps reinforce the strength of the construction that we do have here at Fleetwood. Now the Bounder 35K is a bath and a half unit. The half bath is conveniently located in the middle of the coach. Moving back into the bedroom, all Bounders come standard with a king size bed. I take a second to look at the overhead storage that we have above. That center section is prepped for a CPAP. It already has the cutaway for your hoses as well as 110 hookups inside. Across from your bed, we have a full length wardrobe that is cedar lined. A tremendous amount of storage underneath, as well as more storage behind our TV. Now all bounders come standard with washer and dryer prep. In the 35K, we can option in to have a combo unit put inside. And again, more storage up top. Let's take a look at the bathroom. And now in the master bath, you're going to notice the uh, tremendous amount of countertop space you have, as well as an oversized porcelain sink and a porcelain toilet. Also, when you take a look at all the storage we have, we have dual medicine cabinets, as well as storage there, and several drawers for all your bathroom supplies. And now onto our shower. We have glass doors, as well as this is a fiberglass shower. We have an adjustable shower head, as well as we put our skylights in our showers. It gives you that much more headroom. All right, before we wrap up this video, there's a couple other features I'd like to talk about. One being our ACs. So the Bounder comes with dual 15,000 BTU ACs, and the heat pump is supported in the rear. And those ACs are actually ran through ducts that are metallic lined. It's making your ACs run that much more efficient, and it's very, very similar to what you want to have in a residential home. Another thing is going to be our furnaces. All of our furnace vents are put in the side of our cabinets or the side of our unit, and that's going to give you a more of a convection style of heat. And plus, we're not routing holes in our floor, compromising the integrity or the strength of our floors. A next feature would be our energy management system. What is an energy management system? Basically, it's going to evaluate the power you're using and the power you're requesting. And if that exceeds the power supplied by the post, it's going to shed cut off certain electronics and least priority. And that's gonna prevent you from kicking a breaker at the post. Let's give an example. So if you throw in a bag of popcorn to sit down and watch a movie, and boom, no power. You just found out your wife got out of the shower and she's blow drying her hair. Now you have to go out and reset a breaker. That's a problem you're never gonna have with our bounders. Our system would have simply maybe kicked off a rear AC for a couple minutes while she blows dries her hair. And as soon as she's done, it'll kick the AC back on at no trouble to you. The last feature I want to cover is going to be our auto gen start. The auto gen start is exactly how it sounds. It automatically starts your generator. Now there's three triggers that it'll start by. One being quiet time. So you can program the hours you do not want your generator to start. The second one is going to be voltage. So when your batteries drop below a certain voltage, it's going to kick your generator on and recharge your batteries. 
And now we do have an extended period before your batteries need charged because the Bounder comes with four house batteries. So that just builds that power bank up even more. And it comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel that's gonna provide a trickle charge at all times to your batteries. Now onto the last trigger. That's going to be temperature, which is the most interesting. It makes it very convenient. So if you need to leave your pet at home while you go run errands for eight hours, you can set a comfortable temperature for your pet and your unit's gonna maintain that. And then it's gonna also increase the resale value because when you get back, you don't have eight hours on your generator, you only got 30 minutes because it only kicks on in the time it's needed. There's many, many more features to the Bounder 35K. Do yourself a favor, run out to your local Fleetwood dealer and take a look at the Bounder 35K. Thank you.